Anna. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some cute outfits that I'm just really pumped to be wearing during the spring and some of them are a little borderline like colder days of spring so and it's going to be just some few pieces accessories and clothing pieces that you guys can wear during the spring. For the spring I definitely think like hats are definitely a must especially like if you're wearing a plain outfit and you just want to spice it up but you don't really want to you know updo your outfit. I think like these two floppy hats Not exactly the most best example of a floppy hat because this is borderline fall but still you can wear it during the spring and I think it definitely gives a very chic look to your outfit. Hats! I like this one. This is just like not really like trendy and I love wearing this. I've been wearing this like for a few days now and it's like it's really cool. I, it's not like I'm going right to a trend but I definitely think that this is so cute to wear during the spring. Colder times, like during the night, you know how like the spring during the night it gets like really cold and all. This is definitely a cute accessory to wear. Now that my favorite accessory for the spring are basically headbands. I think that you have to get like, especially like a white beaded headband is like an, a must. I had another white beaded headband and it also had like little big diamonds and stuff on it and it looks so gorgeous and I think that was definitely great for the spring into the summer and this is pretty much what I have but I have another one that had like you know fake stones and stuff but I don't know what happened to it but this is the one I have right now and I think it just adds like a really girly like really really cute girly style to your wardrobe also I have this funky one that is just like a really cabaret style and all and I just think this is so cute to wear um, during the night, like if you're going out during the spring, it's really cute. Other of my musts during the spring is definitely to have like this. I didn't even get to wear it that much last spring, but this spring I definitely want to wear this. So I'm just really pumped to wear these with like denim shorts, like when it gets really warm during the spring with some swimsuits. Okay, another of my must-have during the spring is crop tops. Like, I love crop tops, and you can also wear that with shorts, and it looks amazing, or high-waisted jeans. This is probably going to be really ironic, but I have the I Love Me, <laughs> and um, I should probably have, like, I Love My Son, but um, yeah, this is one of my crop tops, and it's just really, like, 80s to me, and I love, like, the 80s style. Another of my favorites is this little bra thingy and it's in lace and I think that this is just so cute to have during the spring and the summer also so I wouldn't wear this just like bare out but I wear this like under a top that's showing a little too much or something like that you know and of course like I was saying crop tops are great with like high-waisted shorts high-waisted pants any kind of my waist and I love these denim pants that I have just because a new trend comes and you don't want to throw away your old clothes but you know you just want to throw out some stuff that's just not gonna be in style anymore um, and you're like sure or it's like you outgrown it but this I have for such a long time and and these high-waisted jeans are so adorable and I just love the detail on these high-waisted pants and they're also skinny pants, so that's really cool. First spring collection is to have a nice sunshade case. You know, you just want to have like maybe a lot of florals, like a floral dress, a floral accessory. Florals are definitely something you want to have for spring. And I think this is just really cute and it adds like detail to your style. So I'm not really big on colorful eyeshadows, but I'm going to try to do colorful eyeshadow looks. And, um see how it looks like I've never sounds crazy but I've never wore like yellow eyeshadow and I really liked that eyeshadow look that that Kelly Rowland was wearing in her um, kisses down low video and I want to try it out I'm trying to do more dramatic looks because I love natural looks and I've been doing that like so much so I'm just trying to like break a little out of my 
routine of just wearing, you know, natural looks all the time. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to tell you guys the lipstick color that I'm wearing is Revlon's um, Pearl 205. And this is pretty much how the shade looks. Alright guys, so also I want to talk about this hair I'm wearing. And this hair is um, by Model Model, and I'll put the exact name below. And this wig was about 20 bucks and I'm just wearing it as a protective style. It's, the color is black and I think black, oh, one, it's 1B and 33. And this color is pretty much a dark black color, like an off black color and a brown color. That's more leading towards honey, honey blonde. Now I'm wearing this weave because I am going to straighten my hair and I just want to relax on like touching my hair and just doing anything with my hair and a half wig is a great protective style. So I'm just wearing this half wig for about a month until I can straighten my hair. Personally I think half wigs are a great way to just like grow out your hair and um, not touch your hair and even though it's like and even though you have like a little bit of leave out it's like way minimum than having a lot of you know um, manipulation with your hair so I'm just gonna be wearing this style for a little while until I straighten my hair <laughs> to give you guys some more info about the hair the hair is synthetic fiber so um, you cannot straighten or recurl the hair but I think synthetic hair kind of lasts longer in the curl like holding the curl sense um, so I hope you guys like this review and um, this little ch chit chat on the halls for the spring and if you haven't please comment, like and subscribe. Bye guys.